Let's look at machining custom stock using contouring and pocketing work steps. First I'm going to contour without one. We use a multiple pass. I'll select the tool from our library. Total stock will use 40 millimeters. Cut step of two. And let's add a lead in and lead out. Select our part. You can see we're offset 40 millimeters around the part boundary. So now we're going to create a new curve. It's important that we call it stock CRV. Select our path. Verify again. You can see we're now clipping the corners, not cutting air. Now for a 3D preview, I'm going to set up our stock to custom and preview. That is a more efficient way of machining. Now we'll machine in a regular shape solid using a contour work step once again. Now this time, we're going to use a check surface representing our stock. Now let's look at a pocketing work step with custom stock. I'll use world on model. Position a coordinate system on the top. In the middle, we'll write the following values to the stock setup. The values you see here are the outer boundaries of the part. So an X length of 100, Y75, Z30. We go to the stock setup. You can see those values were entered here. Change our step over to 20%. We'll select high speed machining. You can see our toolpath is contained inside the stock. So we go to the pocket work step and advance. Change to face milling. Now we'll look at another way we can customize our stock. I'll use a cylinder around Z. That's the extent of the boundaries of the part. So let's go with 120. Activate the cylinder as our stock. And that concludes the video.